Hello good dear viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this nice words problem question related to quadratic equation. And the question reads, the zeros of a parabola are negative 3 and 5. The parabola crosses the y axis at negative 75. We are asked to find the equation of that parabola. We are also asked to find the vertex of the parabola. Let's start with the first one, which is the equation of the parabola. If these are the zeros, it means what? They are the solution to that quadratic equation, right? Therefore, if you solve that equation, you're going to obtain x equal to negative 3 or x equal to 5. That is exactly what it means. So this is a part, right? I remember that we have a general formula used to find a quadratic equation when the zeros are given and the formula is x squared minus sum of the roots meaning you should add the two roots together then you multiply by x then you add you multiply the two roots that is the product of roots and you set this to be equal to zero so now let us substitute we have x squared minus sum meaning we should add them together we have negative 3 plus 5 then you multiply by x plus their product negative 3 multiplied by 5 the whole of this equal to 0 let's simplify negative 3 plus 5 is positive 2 positive 2 times x is 2x multiplied by negative is negative 2x so we have x squared minus 2x then we have negative 3 times 5 which is negative 15 so we have plus negative 15, the whole of this equal to zero. This is the quadratic equation that has those two roots, negative three and five. But look at the question carefully. It stated that the parabola crosses the y axis at negative 75. So what is this negative 75? It is nothing but what? Y intercept. That is exactly where the curve passes through y axis. But here we have it as negative 15 because this is what our y-intercept. Therefore, we have to transform it into negative 75. And we can do that by multiplying this by 5. And to do justice, we have to multiply all of this equation by 5. So the first time x squared times 5 is 5x squared minus 5 times 2 is 10x minus 15 times 5 is 75 this is equal to 0 times 5 equal to 0 and hence this is the quadratic equation we are looking for 5x squared minus 10x minus 75 equal to 0. let's move to the second question the second question we are asked to find the vertex of that parabola remember that the vertex is just that turning point in this case we are going to have a minimum at that point right so if you have y and x axis like this, if you have a curve, something like this, this is 5, this is negative 3. The vertex is exactly this point where the parabola takes a turn. So we want to find the value of x at that point and y at that point. And this is said to be the vertex of that quadratic equation finding the value of x at that point is very simple because we can just add the two roots together and divide them by two that will give us that point that divides a curve into two equal parts which is the value of x at that point and this line is called the line of symmetry the line that divides the curve into two equal parts so therefore the x at that point is equal to negative 3 plus 5 divided by 2 Negative 3 plus 5 is positive 2, and positive 2 divided by 2 is 1. Therefore, x equal to 1 at that point. So what will be the corresponding value of y at that point? We can substitute x equal to 1 in our main equation to find the corresponding value of y. So what is the equation? The equation is 5x squared minus 10x minus 75. So let me copy it. So here is the equation, but we are not going to set it to be equal to 0, rather y, because we are looking for y. So when x equal to 1, we are going to substitute 1 in everywhere we have x. So this is 5 multiplied by 1 squared 
minus 10 multiplied by 1, then minus 75. This is y. We have 1 squared is 1 times 5 is 5, minus 10 times 1, minus 75. This is equal to y. 5 minus 10 is negative 5, and negative 5 minus 75 is negative 80, right? Therefore, y equal to negative 80 at that point. Therefore, the vertex, vertex, which is an xy coordinate at that point, this is equal to 1 for x and negative 80 for y. This is just the vertex of that quadratic equation. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.